All right, so um, we're gonna talk about a bait that's recently been put on the market and it's recently been on Taco Warehouse. You probably saw it in my last video, but we're gonna be talking about one of the most hyper-realistic shrimp jigs you'll ever find. This is the Live Target Fleeing Shrimp Jig. Now we're gonna talk about where to fish it, how you can fish it, and then maybe, you know, just talk about the bait itself. So we're gonna talk about the bait itself to start off. And then, you know, we're just gonna talk about where to fish it. So, here we go. All right, so one of the first places I would ever fish this shrimp jig is along dock pilings and bridges, especially bridges, since they're deep, especially there's a lot of current, you will excel on snook with these. You will excel with snook, that's for sure. What snook will do, this is the bottom, bo right here's the bottom. They'll actually sit with their noses planted on the ground, or on the bottom, sorry, like this. And then if a shrimp, you know, comes along the bottom, fleeing away, they'll eat, they'll eat the shrimp. Now with dock pilings, you will often catch jack creval, redfish, trout, if you live in South Florida, smoke, and maybe some tarpon. But um, that's, that's where I think this would excel. North Florida, where I live at, um, they have we have a lot of grass flats. So you would just pop this along the grass flats, just pop it slow, and hopefully, you know, you want to try to find the potholes. Now, if you're in South Florida where you don't have grass flats and thinking, what are potholes? Well, potholes are just gaps in the grass flats. But like, they're not, it, grass flats are transitions from a sandy to grass, you know, a lot. But, if you may have noticed, there are, um, well, if you live in South Florida, you don't have a lot of grass, grass flats. North Florida, especially St. Mark's, which is known for it, it's trout fishing has a lot of grass flats and oyster bars and what potholes are is this where the whole like patches of grass that didn't grow or are still growing and what sea trout will do since they're so camouflaged it will sit in there and use that as an ambush point for you know mullet pinfish you know bait fish shrimp crab any anything they can eat and they'll use that and you can if you just drop this in there right on their nose I guarantee you they'll eat it and you know this would also work pretty good around um over sandbars or, or per perpendicular to sandbars so what i mean is a parallel cast sandbar so what i mean is you cast along the sandbar and then you would just work it jeez you would uh, work it like you would you know like a jig or a doa shrimp or you know yeah now we're gonna talk about the key features. Sorry, it's my battery's dead in my car, but it's the only quiet place in my car. Let's some of that air in. Um, some of the some of the key features of this bait. Obviously, it looks like a fleeing shrimp. Now, you probably already know this this little skirt that's on here. This is just to give it more flair, give it more action, and grab the fish's attention. Now, when you buy this bait, it comes like a little pack. It comes with a spare body. Okay, you can probably can only hear the little, let me close the door so you can hear it, hold on, rip headphone users, but you can probably hear the little rattle in there, and that's just a, yeah, you can def probably definitely hear it, but that's just to give it more action, you know, let the fish know, it, it's supposed to sound like a shrimp that's kicking off, and the next thing you'll notice is these little swimming legs, they're supposed to make it look like the shrimp is like actually swimming away and the second thing you'll notice is that the antennas on this shrimp are much longer more thicker than the regular shrimp this is the smaller regular shrimp and that's just you know just to give it more action and it's supposed to resemble a bigger shrimp fleeing so this just to give you an idea this is about the shrimp size of shrimp you would normally get in a bait shop you would go in there and ask the guy, hey, let me get one one dozen or two dozen shrimp. This is about the size you would get. You would maybe get one this size, you know.
And um, the second thing you'll notice is that the hook, you know, it's very, it's a, it's a strong hook and it's pretty sharp. Now this is a quick tip for you bass guys too if you want to get into saltwater fishing. But uh, I'm sure most bass guys know this. How you test the sharpness of your hook, you take your thumbnail, hold it like this. This is probably going to grind, this is probably going to make y'all cringe. But you take it, stick like that. Hmm. It, it, it feels weird, but if it like catches and it stays there and it won't move, your hook is sharp. Like, it is sharp. And I have not used this bait yet. I actually got it on a tackle warehouse. I will link it in the description down below. And I got this one. And. Oh, and I got hot pink for, uh, you know bluish water, you know, for the shrimp to stand out a little bit. I'm sure it'll work. This one also comes with a skirt and a little rattle. Alright, out the door. And then, you know, the, there are eyes on here, but these fall, will fall out. It comes with... Also, the second thing, the last thing you'll notice is the jig head looks like the sh shrimp tail as it's fleeing away. Very, 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 very neat bait. I can't wait to try this out in my next inshore trip. So, let's just do a review of, of what I talked about. Okay, so uh, we talked about where to fish the shrimp. Bridges, dock pilings, sandbars, and oyster bars. Sand so, bridges, dock pilings, and docks sandbars and oyster bars and grass flats or regular flats so kind of technically five key plate scenarios to where you would fish this bait now when it comes to water clarity if it's pretty clear like you know it's known to be pretty clear and clean water around there not stained at all I would recommend using this color right here this color is called sand shrimp and it's um it's about as natural as it gets. Now, you're fishing like bluish or greenish water, you know, like you're a little offshore, but you're still some like, but you're after some bigger redfish, bigger or bigot, bigger redfish than you would inshore. I would recommend hot pink, just you know, because it stands out in the water, and most shrimp there are pink, because you know, water the water won't stain it, and yeah. But that's my spiel on this bait. Uh, my opinion on it so far. It looks really, really, really good. I'm enjoying the way it looks. I'm enjoying some of the reviews on it. And, um... Yeah. That's it for this video. Uh, I know it's a little... Bit of a uh, weird video. Sorry about that. I know this is a bit of a weird video, but uh, I haven't really been able to fish much at, at, at all. Um, mainly because, you know, we're moving after high school. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below, hit the like button, and then comment down below what, what tackle, what bait I should review next. I have, here, I'll list off the baits I have, so if you want to write this down, you can. I have a DOA Bait Buster, a DOA Terrorize, a DOA Shrimp, a Live Target Mullet, Swim bait and pinfish swim bait, Rapala skitter walk, H2O express swim bait, Rapala X wrap, live target regular shrimp, and DOA cow. So, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, show this channel some support. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the time next fall, because you know, odds are I won't make it to 100 by this summer, but you never know. It might happen. So. Alright guys. I'm going to close this video out. And. Yeah. I'm just going to see y'all next time. Um. If you haven't already. Go to my. I'm thinking about making a Patreon, Patreon page. Or Patreon page. Whatever the hell you call it. Um. Let me know if I should do that. Just let me know in the description down below. Or not description. Comments down below. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm Jack. I might change my name back to Jack Fishing TV because you know I made a new like saying when I when I shot the video. 
But, um... Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Why'd I say peace? Whatever. See y'all.